Hey, Nanaimo, how you doing? Oh, it's good to be in Nanaimo. My name's Dave Ward, uh, Squatch, and I'm your uh, host and MC for tonight. We got a great show for you tonight. We have a fellow, Mr. Richard Lett, is going to be here tonight. Let's have a round of applause. Let him know you're thinking about him. Yeah, very funny man. He's going to be uh, he's gonna be out here later. I'd like to talk to you about women a little bit before we bring him up. Because I'm an expert, obviously. Yeah. I think I've mentioned before that it seems everything that guys like to do the most pisses women off. I, I don't understand that. The thing I don't understand the most, though, is the toilet seat. I don't understand this, period. I mean, one night this woman yells at me, that's because you've never fallen in. <laughs> Lady, open your eyes. I barely fit in the bathtub. Odds of me falling in the toilet are pretty slim. You gotta wonder, though, how does this work? Do all women take, like, the Helen Keller School of Toilet Training? I know it's back there, but I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look as I mention it to him, and he'll remember, because he loves me, and... He's a bastard! Then she has to come and share this joyous news with you. I fell in the toilet again. I said, well, why don't you turn on the light and look at what you're doing? She said, I didn't want to wake up. <laughs> Jeez, that worked out perfect. <laughs> Your initial scream set off my car alarm. The whole neighborhood's awake. Why should you be asleep? I got tired all the time. Toilet seat, toilet seat, toilet seat. I finally had enough. I leave it down all the time. There you go. It's down. Yeah, it's wet, but it's down. Hey, I didn't want to wake up either. <laughs> I know, you see, women think that's so horrible. That's what, but what's really horrible is you go into the bathroom and they have those things on the back of the toilet. What are they things? You know, those macrame like poodles and ballerinas. And How did we end up with these things? I mean, someone's walked in the bathroom and gone, ah! A naked roll of toilet paper! <laughs> I better knit something for it! <laughs> I, I don't get it. There's someone with just a little bit too much spare time. Okay, on with our show, because we got way too much show tonight, and this guy is going to do, like, uh, an incredible job for you. He's an award-winning playwright and actor. Um, he has a, a, a play that... Uh, was massively well reviewed in Vancouver in October uh, called The Clutch which is now being made into a, a feature film. Uh, he headlines clubs all over the country. He's been a good buddy of mine for a long time and a very very funny man. Would you please welcome to the stage Mr. Richard Lett. Keep it going for Squatch. Come on! So how you doing? Good? Me? Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm okay. Had kind of a shitty week. I joined Greenpeace. Unfortunately, the check I gave them bounced. <laughs> now I got two hippies and a lesbian chained to my porch. <laughs> and they painted my cat green. I like lesbians. Lesbians get so offended when I tell I like, I've got all their movies. <laughs> I don't know what people are upset about, but... What's going on there? You're looking for coins to throw at me? <laughs> You're thinking of a different act. <laughs> this is my younger days, but... I should tell you, my name is Richard Ladd. You can call me Rick. Or Rich. Okay, Ricky. Thanks. <laughs> Thought I told you to wait in the fucking car. <laughs> now, don't be nice. I'm not a role model, okay? <laughs> I'm not a good person, let's establish with that. I had a wife like you once, but I shot her. <laughs> Relax, I'm not advocating violence against women, I'm just saying it's worked for me. That's my only <laughs> You can call me Rich. Don't call me Dick. Well, I hate that. Are there dicks here? It's the worst, it's the worst. How are you doing, Dick? Oh, pretty good, asshole. <laughs> Actually, the worst part of my name was, was the last part, let, which is not only a verb, but a suffix, implying small. Dicklet is something I've heard a lot of. So don't bother, okay? Why is it that guys' names are also nicknames for penises? Have you noticed this? We got Dick, Rod, Peter. P 
Peter O'Toole. Lance, Willie, Woody, Helmet. Nah. Chinese guys call it a wang. This is a guy's problem. I've yet to meet a girl named Snapper. Well, there is Barbara Bush. You're right, sorry. Actually, I get in trouble with that joke. Actually, I get in trouble for most of my jokes, but... Told that joke in Kelowna. Woman comes up to have the show, no word of a lie, says, you know, women do have that problem. Introduced me to her friend, Maureen Clit. <laughs> Spelled the K, but still. Apparently, it's quite a common name. There's a lot of clits in the Okanagan. I <laughs> did not know that. And she's okay, except her brother, who's a cop. Constable Clit. <laughs> Which is still okay, because he's about to be promoted to Inspector Clit. <laughs> Which is always good advice, but... But the clits are sensitive. They don't like jokes about their name. They got a family motto, you don't rub us clits the wrong way. <laughs> I wish I was lying. I really do, but... You know. I'm having a weird time. I've had a weird week. Can you tell me, does your dog watch you when you have sex? Because mine does, and frankly, it's starting to piss me off. Because he's definitely watching. It's like... And what is he thinking about? That's what I'm worried about. What's going I could have done that if you hadn't cut my balls off. <laughs> no weird week. Been traveling a lot, taking those cheap flights. You know, it costs like a buck to fly from Vancouver to Calgary now. Canada 3,000 which is roughly the amount of people that are on the flight with you, but... It's weird, they charge you five bucks for headphones so you can watch TV and then they show Mr. Bean. Yeah. The turkey Silent the comedy. <laughs> There'll be transcripts available after the show. You know. Should've laughed there, should've laughed there, should've walked out there. A lot of people don't know, laugh at this shit, but you're holding in, that's great, but... You won't poop later. It's a little health warning, well, don't want people getting hurt. Fly. They gotta watch those cheap flights, so I get on this flight, they announce that Marge, Marge is having her 92nd birthday. So we all clap. <laughs> Turns out Marge is the fucking pilot. <laughs> I don't know, it's strange. They say that uh, air travel is safer than car travel. Of course, when was the last time you heard of 400 people dying in a car accident? <laughs> Quite the little pileup in the old number two there. Well, you know, they did a survey. You read about this? They did a survey to find out the last word spoken by airline pilots was before they crashed. Most common last word spoken. Guess what it was? Shit, you're absolutely right. There's no prize or anything, but... <laughs> Shit, which is not surprising. Jesus, we have time to do it. Let's say it. Shit. <laughs> and there's various forms of the word shit. There would be the reconciled to it all going, Shit. <laughs> Or the shocked, surprised, like, shit. <laughs> or the panicky, so like, shit. <laughs> but you know, statistics can lie, because all they said was it was the last word spoken. It was the only word spoken. Maybe it's just a coincidence, you know, just part of the sentence, you know, like, jeez, you fly like shit. <laughs> Take the control, time to shit. <laughs> and the inevitable, shit, this is good shit. 